Hi, we're at the pit room today, a Houston barbecue restaurant. It's one of my favorite barbecue restaurants. We're gonna get some good food. Come on. I'm so excited to share with you all one of my favorite barbecue spots in Houston this week. Take a look at all this amazing food from the pit room. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because we're also going to check out a burger spot, ice cream shop, tapioca spot, and we're also going to go to this hand roll place that has amazing hand rolls. They have a hand roll that has wagyu, foie gras, and caviar on it, and it's incredible. Now let's get back to the barbecue. Look at this brisket. All the layers of the fat and then like the meat part, the lean part. Yum. I do want to try this sausage. Don't know which one. This one's a darker one. So maybe this one is the venison. Just some barbecue sauce. I don't eat venison often, but this venison sausage was super lean and flavorful. Here's a pork rib. It has a crust to it, but not like a very thick one. The last barbecue restaurant I went to had like a thicker crust. Not a candy glaze or anything, just like a dry rub on top. Mm. Looks like really tender. Okay, take a bite. Should I get some barbecue sauce? Put some barbecue sauce on These it. These ribs had a bite to it. The crust on it was super crisp, mm. but the meat was still chewy. These had a nice peppery smoke flavor to them. That smoke flavor is there. Came off the bone so easily. It's so clean when I took that bite. Gotta have barbecue sauce. Comes right off the bone. That's so good. Yum. Really good pork rib. Jalapeno cheddar sausage. This is pork. Yeah, barbecue sauce. The pit room has one of the better jalapeno cheese sausages that I've tried. It's just the right amount of fatty and cheesy, and they smoked it so well, the skin on the sausage is so crisp. Good. Oh my gosh, let me show you this beef rib. This beef rib is huge. I was really excited that we got the Look beef rib this. today because they usually run out. I've been here on days where they sold out of it. Look at this beef rib. It's huge. It's like fatty on the other side. It's falling off. You can see it's like coming off. It's massive. I think I got to cut it. As beautiful as this beef rib is, there is no pretty way to eat this. Look at all that pepper on my face. But that's not going to stop me from enjoying this beef rib. I love the crust. The seasoning, all that pepper on it. And that fattiness. Mm, this is good. Um, I do need to cut it and get some barbecue sauce. Be good on some bread. Yum! <laughs> I cut the beef rib and look at this big chunk. All that pepper on top of it, those layers of fat and like lean meat. All right, let's try some sides. I got four different sides. Got some corn. Look at this corn. Elote actually, and it has like pepper. If you had elote before, it usually has a lot of fixings on top of it. This one just had the corn. It was buttery and a little spicy. It had this spice pepper that was all mixed yeah. into it. Next time I go to the pit room, I'm going to ask it's him like about spice. the fixings on yeah. top because I think I remember them giving it to me before and I've seen some pictures on Yelp where they do serve it but with fixings. Spicy. Let's try potato salad. I love potato salad. I love mustard-based potato salad and this is a mustard-based potato salad. You can usually tell it's a mustard-based potato salad if it's yellow. So this mm. one's yellow here and it's got a lot of texture in it. Creamy. There's actually egg in this potato salad too. Yum. There's so many textures and flavors in this potato salad. Like it's got egg. a lot going on. Mm -hmm. It's oniony. It has like celery flavor in there. Green onion, red pepper. Potato salad is one of my favorite barbecue sides and the one at the pit room is so good. One of my favorite so potato good. salads from a barbecue restaurant. That's good. Yum, mac and cheese. Let me show you the mac and cheese. This mac and cheese looks amazing. So it's got like a light yellow color. So it's not like a true cheddar cheese macaroni, but like a lighter cheese, which I prefer. And this big was so creamy and delicious. Or big macaroni pasta. 
cheese. This mac and cheese looks amazing. So it's got like a light yellow color. So it's not like a true cheddar cheese macaroni, but like a lighter so cheese, which I prefer. And this was so creamy and delicious. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love barbecue. Gosh, look at that. Another angle. Take a bite. I love ordering food at barbecue restaurants a la carte so that I can make these little barbecue sandwiches myself. Mm. I've got some of the beef rib in here with pickles and pickled onions and then some of the barbecue sauce. This just makes for the perfect bite. It's so meaty, so flavorful, like so sausage. delicious. The venison sausage is so, so good. All right, we ate so much barbecue. I loved everything, it was all amazing. It's not my first time here. I come here pretty often, and I'm definitely going to be coming back. I love the potato salad, the mac and cheese. Um, for meats, I really enjoyed the beef rib today. I'm not usually like a big fan of beef rib because it can be like really oily, but this one was so flavorful. That crust on top, it was very peppery, which I like. And then uh, the venison today was my first time trying it, and I liked that one. I'd definitely be getting that again so good the brisket of course if you're here definitely get the brisket and get the moist cut so tender and juicy and good with the barbecue sauce and bread and all the condiments that they have try the habanero sauce if you like habanero sauce or spicy things i loved it i really enjoyed this meal today everything was so good milk and sugar this is my favorite houston ice cream spot they have like very light sweet flavors i mean they're they're sweet <laughs> but the flavors aren't too strong or like too uh too like too heavy i guess so this is a cone that i got i got their split scoop with the strawberry almond cheesecake flavor on top and then their seasonal flavor pumpkin season so it's a little spiced pumpkin flavor inside that ice cream so delicious some other flavors i love there are follow your nose which they don't have right now it has like a cereal milk base and fruit loops inside and then i like another one called rain or shine which is like an earl gray ice cream flavor they're so good i could eat here every day i i really could <laughs> okay um but yeah try out this place it's right next to the pit room if you're ever in the area ice creams are so good definitely try the cones as well they're so they're like thin and crispy really really great cones though. hello today i'm at norigami it's a hand roll place here in houston and i'm meeting up a friend excited to catch up and get some hand rolls this is a newer place they've only been open for a month and they have this really crazy roll with like wagyu foie gras and gold on it and caviar so we're gonna try that let's go try <laughs> I'm first taking you to their secret bar. So if you walk into Noragami, there's a door on the right side that opens up into this room. And in this room is this purple bar. And wow, what a vibe it is. We've got some florals here and there. This lighting is beautiful. And then there's this champagne wall. So I think it's a little area people can like take pictures and I asked and you can definitely buy a bottle of the champagne. Now into the actual restaurant, they've got this shelf full of little knickknacks. You can see these little origami cranes. It's so fitting for the name of this place, Norigami. They have a nice menu with light bites. You can order hand roll sets or you can order individual hand rolls. They seated us around the area where the hand roll chefs make their hand rolls and serve it to you directly. I love this because the hand rolls are made and served directly to you right away. 
The first hand roll I had was the yellowtail. It had cucumber and aqua chili with it. This was so fresh and so delicious. Second hand roll I had was the bluefin tuna, which had hamika, microgreens, and shisho. I think the hand rolls had a decent fish to rice ratio, and the prices here were pretty affordable. My favorite seafoods is scallops, so I ordered the spicy scallops hand roll, which had cucumber, chili, garlic aioli, and yuzu tobiko. This had a lot more fixings than the other hand rolls I've had, so it was a little like heavier or saucier. It was a bit different from my usual usual spicy scallops that I've had with like a mayo base. This one had more of a chili oil base. Next is the spicy salmon which has spicy aioli, avocado, and hamika. I love the avocado in this one. It makes the hand roll a little bit creamier. Hand rolls are just so convenient to eat. No utensils needed. We saved the best and craziest hand roll for last. This is the Menage foie gras hand roll and this has uni, toro, wagyu, foie gras, caviar, and gold flakes on it. This is $26 for one hand roll and they treat this hand roll so well that they serve it on an Hermes plate. The other hand rolls were not treated like this. Look at this beauty. I don't know where to start. Do I want to start on the Wagyu side or start on the foie gras side? But that uni looks amazing with that caviar and gold flakes on top. I just know this is going to be amazing and I'm going to be sad when I've eaten it all. So I'm going to savor every bite. This was the yellowtail crudo. Look at the presentation with these flower petals. This was super fresh. I loved my meal. I'm definitely going to be back here. For the last meal in this video, we're headed towards downtown to share with y'all one of my favorite burger spots. This is Stanton City Bites. This burger spot is so cute and nostalgic. We've got really cool signs and vintage furniture and lights. We even have a little space dedicated to Bruce Lee. Love sitting at their bar, it just gives such a diner feel. Burgers here are amazing and my top pick lately has been the spicy chipotle. It has house chipotle mayo, house chipotle butter, jalapeno jack cheese, grilled onions, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, and a jalapeno bun. My favorite parts of this burger are the jalapeno bun and the caramelized onions. It just adds so much more flavor to this burger. This burger is beautiful and I can't wait to take a bite of it. It just looks so amazing. I'm gonna take the biggest bite so I can get a bit of everything and wow, I love this burger. There's so much flavor going on here. The bacon adds a nice crunch. It's like the cherry on top to a perfect burger. This time around, we forgot to ask them to cook our patty to medium rare. The meat was a little bit drier, but we still really enjoyed it and the bread was just perfect. It was super soft. Last time we came here, we ordered their bread pudding for dessert, and this time we cannot skip out on it. We ordered it again. I think it's now one of our most favorite desserts. It's cinnamon y, it's sweet, it's got raisins in it, and it's got this glazed coating. The bread is soft, eggy, but in a way that reminds me of French toast. You eat this whole piece, and I think I need to order two pieces next time. This is the perfect dessert to end after eating a burger at Stanton's. We've got one more stop and it's Moji Tea in the Heights. We're just picking up some drinks to take home for the night. We love coming here for the cheese foam drinks. This drink is the cheese foam white peach oolong tea. I also ordered the super fruit green tea. All right, I went to Moji Tea and I got the super fruit green tea. It's got a lot of citrus stuff in there. There's like lime slices, lemon slices, maybe grapefruit as well inside a green tea. And then there's aloe vera, aloe vera jelly or just aloe vera, I guess. Um, I really like aloe vera inside these juices cause or these drinks, cause it's just like really refreshing. I'm gonna try it. Mm. It is refreshing. It's kind of sweet, I like it. There's some passion fruit in there as well. You can see like the seeds. Yum. I like this drink. Okay, got another drink. This is a cheese foam white peach oolong tea with um, their boba. Their boba's like, it's like not a black boba. It's, I don't know, it's like clear, but they said it's like healthier. So it has cheese foam in it. So peach is kind of light and the cheese foam makes it really creamy. Yum, mom. that's good. I really like this place for their cheese foam, the like slushes or smoothies. These are really good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and help this baby YouTube channel grow to 100K. We really appreciate your support. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. Thank y'all so, so much. Hope you've been enjoying this barbecue series. Let me know in the comments what series I should try out next.
Bye.